right, well wait, uh, welcome to Novark's Fireside Chats. We appreciate you and the team coming out to uh, North Van for training on the uh, spool welding robot. I was wondering if maybe you could start out and help us identify a little bit about um, the story about RoboCop. Where are you guys coming from? Glad to be here. We're really excited um, for myself and the majority of our team. We focus on technology innovation and where we can inject it into the industry. So, um, you know, the weather's been pretty good to us here, <laughs> here in Vancouver so far. Uh, a little bit rainy today, but uh, yeah, the story behind RoboFab, um, it's a division of on-site 3D, uh, virtual design and construction firm where we tailor our technology services to um, industry, oil and gas, pharmaceutical space, and overall just industrial plant applications. Um, that led me to researching automated um, systems and processes around pipe school fabricating. Um, Novark was a, a clear standout in this space, um, really niche to that product and, and yeah, we're excited now after about a year of kind of research and development and back and forth, uh, you know, we've made the, the investment to go this route and we're excited to not only learn ourselves and, and advance forward the industry but push it forward to our clients as well on some of the cost saving sides. Perfect, well appreciate that. Uh, when you started your journey looking at solutions like this, uh, how did you figure out what you were going to start looking at? What was it that was going to set you apart from like the EPCs that you're, you're competing against, the incumbents that are in the field? Because you're a young company. How did you put those pieces together to start this journey? Yeah, I think, I think it was organic on just problem solving. Um, at the end of the day, our whole team, um, you know, we are a younger team. We have some senior management that have, you know, a lot more years of experience in conventional space. But our younger team is really pushing the limits on some of the newer workflows um, behind just growing up, you know, with our hands on computers and, sure. and being in that space. So, you know, researching, you know, where the differentiators were in our business model, <clears throat> um, specifically the, the LiDAR capture, the terrestrial stuff, and then the 3D modeling um, really revolutionized how we go about um, getting the, the geometry of our sites and the measurements. So. Um, the next step was, you know, we, we invested quite a bit into the manufacturing side of it, the, the downstream services from engineering. Um, you know, a couple trips down in the States, uh, I started learning about integrated project delivery, um, turnkey services, um, and just my background um, in entrepreneurship with my grandfather owning a business, my father owning a business, and then, and then myself. Um, it's, it's about value, right? So how do we provide the most transparent value to our clients? We looked at the manufacturing space. We've gone through about three different revisions of how we manufacture our, our pipe and our spooling operations. So okay. this, this was something I studied and something I'm, I'm really excited about. And it's, it's automating a process that in a conventional space is still where it was at in you know the 1920s. So moving forward with how advanced technology is um, in this age, you know, 2020. So yeah. the possibilities are almost limitless of, of where everything's going. So to be on the forefront and, and utilizing some of this equipment is really exciting for us. So today we're at Novark Industries in Vancouver, British Columbia, and we're getting uh, four well procedure qualifications done. A uh, two six inch, a 12 inch and an eight inch, and this will certify us to weld pretty much anything up to two inches thick. It proves that we're meeting our customers' specifications, heat input and uh, gigajoules and stuff like that. So we're really excited about introducing this new technology to our industry. It's gonna lower costs, increase production, and keep quality at a, a max. So it's really getting rid of that dinosaur mentality and taking advantage of the technology that's out there today. Yeah, and, and at the end of the day, it's um, investing in the inevitable, I call it. Um, yeah. You know, there's, there's obviously the pushback from the conventional um, personalities that, that are holding on to, to yesterday. And for me, I'm, I'm always living in tomorrow. I'm, I'm future driven. So, so I see the potential of this, not only where it is right now, but where it can go. And some of the applications that Novark has on, um, specifically the, the spool welding robot, were extremely attractive for myself and some of the other ventures that we're, we're chasing down on the innovation side. Oh, I appreciate that. I think that when you have that ability to connect, uh, as a company where you're forward-looking, forward-thinking, I think that's like a great partnership going forward. 
where we get to listen to you and take advantage of what we've already done. So we appreciate obviously that you've chosen the SWR as your robotic welding solution. Now, what were the determining factors that allowed you to really confidently say, hey, we want to partner with Novart on this? I'm, uh, I'm Canadian right back to the roots uh, First Nations, so working with other Canadian technology companies is, is uh, it's exciting for me. Appreciate um, North America, I've worked across North America, so I really enjoy just the grit that we have in the north when it comes to, you know, for lack of better words, just get her done. So, yeah. so coming in and, and studying some of the other um, welding robots, um, hearing some stories, and you know, I've been researching this for about five years now, just just really trying to, to you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a big investment for us, so we want to make sure that it's the right decision. And the collaboration side of it, um, of being able to manipulate the machine um, manually and some movement and stuff like that. I felt like that was a, a pretty big move on the, the Novark one rather than you know going fully automated and having you know essentially some more custom applications around the coding and stuff. It seems like this is a really user friendly unit. Like a six or nine axis type system where you have to yeah. gauge it? Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so, so just the collaboration of working with an operator. So. You know, I like the term the cobot uh, for the collaboration of, of, you know, we're not we're not replacing jobs. We're just integrating new avenues for professional welders to to utilize different tools uh, to be more productive and more efficient and, and produce a higher quality, right? Yeah, makes sense to us. So, uh, with that insight, now you're you obviously Alberta-based company, uh, oil and gas is a lion's share of probably what you're doing. How do you see your SWR? allowing you to maybe change the game in that industry or that that space specifically i think because we have a supply chain business model where we do you know we do the 3d survey at the front of it we we do our own engineering we do um, design drafting of basically every spool that we fabricate so our ability to understand what the capabilities are of the automated equipment um, and then move that forward into our design process. So we're thinking ahead rather than retroactive of receiving drawings that aren't fully optimized for these technology workflows. Um, so seamlessly putting it all together, that's where, where I think it's really going to showcase some value. And, and the other side of it is, is, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to save save us money, right? So saving for ourselves internally and then therefore we can share that with our clients. Um, you know, my goal is to spearhead, you know, the robotic revolution in spool welding, um, Western Canada. Uh, our Houston office is open now, so oh, um, branching out into that market yeah. and, you know, just really pushing the technology, pushing the innovation. I've had, you know, really good um, experience and, and I think we have a good reputation of pushing it in the LiDAR space so okay. so now it's just hey let's let's get into the, the automation and manufacturing and, and really spearhead it and be sort of that that face for sure. the next revolution. This is the start of the relationship between two leading edge companies that are going to take a product to the field in production and it's going to give us ultimate feedback that we can continuously improve our product. How do you see the pipe fabrication industry, you know, changing and how will your SWR address those challenges for you? I've noticed the change drastically in, in like the last five years. Um, you know, conventionally, you know, you're sending your mobile subcontract welders, they're they're headed right out to site, they're on they're on the client's property. Uh, the risks are, you know, the, the travel, the weather, um, the variables of working in live facilities, um, hot work permits, um, usually in these, these cases. So our purpose was to transition the mentality of custom pipe fabricating, okay. um, utilize the LiDAR technologies to bring that into a controlled environment to a prefabricated facility and more change the philosophy to more of a, a manufacturing or a factory assembly process when it comes to building these prefabricated components. So um, moving it into these, these facilities, you're going to see a drastic change in you know, the mentality around the fit up. I think that's, that's the biggest one is, is the measurement side of it. And we've reduced the risk on, on rework on that. So now applying that into more of you know, the manufacturing process of these components. 
rather than you know one-off on-site you know stuff like that and in the end it's it's an exponential reduction in, in the cost and time when, when you're well, when sure. you're going through this and quality and it's just everything's controlled right yeah so oh, that makes sense all right uh any other final thoughts or any subjects you'd like to touch on before we wrap up the fireside overall the dynamic of you know, working with Novark and, and sort of getting engaged for you know about, about a year now. I'm pretty mm -hmm. pretty diligent. I'm pretty frugal on which which ventures I go into before I pull the trigger. So overall, it's been uh, it's been a pretty positive uh, engagement, and we're pretty excited. Um, I know I'm pretty open about sharing our experience sure. and sort of our findings when we're in research and development and moving this forward and getting into production. So I just yeah, I wanted anybody else that's out there and has questions and wants to reach out to us, feel free. We're, we're here to push the, the innovation forward. And I think this is a, a great um, dynamic between Novark and on-site 3D and a newly established uh, RoboFab division. Perfect. Well, we're fired up about it. Again, we appreciate you and your team coming out for this. Uh, I'm Rick Campbell with Novark Technologies in North Van. We have the spool welding robot. We have Wade Eno. He is the CEO of OnSite3D and RoboFab.com. Uh, if you haven't had the chance, check them out on LinkedIn and uh, make sure to like their page. Till next time, I'm Rick Campbell. Thank you. Right on. Thanks, Rick.